The Labour Party has suspended Trevor Phillips, the former head of the Equality and Human Rights Commission, over so-called Islamophobia. Now, Trevor Phillips is someone who has analysed and examined demographics, integration, related issues in this country for years. And to his credit, he had the courage to put his head above the parapet and say, look, there's a specific problem with Islam and Muslims. He's right, there is. The problem is the teachings of the religion. Now, for this, he has been suspended from Labour, and I'm not remotely surprised by this. A lot of people are expressing shock. I'm not surprised at all, because Labour may as well just rename itself the Islam Party, because it seems determined to appeal to Muslims and trans, interestingly. Let's see what happens when that clashes. Above all, all else. Why do we think there's an anti-Semitism scandal in the Labour Party that they won't deal with? Because they know it'll bring them into a clash with you-know-who. Now, it's my opinion, can't prove it, but it's my opinion, that the Muslim Council of Britain are behind this suspension. They have been pressuring political parties uh, quite a lot for allowing any kind of criticism, however mild, even humour, uh, and however true, of course, this criticism may be, the Muslim Council of Britain are all over this and they're pushing very, very hard. They have put in a complaint to the Equality and Human Rights Commission uh, with giving 300 examples of Islamophobia in the Conservative Party. See, they've got the Labour Party, now they want the Conservative Party. They will not allow a major party to stand candidates or even have members who express any kind of concern about a violent, demonstrably violent religion, which is causing problem after problem after problem in this country. And I'm not talking about parking tickets. I'm talking about gang rape. I'm talking about child rape. I'm talking about child mutilation, always related to one particular religion. And that is not a coincidence. But the Muslim Council of Britain is on a roll here because the mainstream press keeps inviting them on. BBC had the Muslim Council of Britain on this morning to explain how they are victims and how Trevor Phillips is a nasty bigot. There they are, giving the BBC, giving this platform to the Muslim Council of Britain. Julia Hartley Brewer also gave a platform to the Muslim Council of Britain a few days ago and I would like to ask her if she will have me on to talk about the Muslim Council of Britain. Julia, please don't ignore this. Please do set up a time. I will come on to your show and I will talk to you about this organisation. This is a jihadi organisation. This is an organisation full to bursting with Muslim Brotherhood extremists who want to turn this country into a Sharia nightmare. They support Sharia councils. They support the idea that a woman's word is worth less than a man's. They support violence, uh, domestic violence inside marriages without any right of divorce for the woman being beaten. They support death by stoning and the killing of homosexuals. Ask them about it, BBC. Ask them about it, Julia Hartley Brewer. Or better yet, get someone on who knows the Muslim Council of Britain. It always blows my mind that these are people who want to turn our country into a living nightmare, who want to kill gays, who want to suppress and oppress women, who want a tyranny where we are not allowed to speak, who want Islam imposed upon every one of us. They are given a mainstream platform and I am silence. To be clear, I do not think gays should be killed. I do not think women should be oppressed. I do not think ex-Muslims should be facing death threats in this so-called democracy. I do not believe people who change their religion should be killed. I am fundamentally and with every ounce of my soul opposed to all of that. I believe in liberty. I believe in equal rights. I believe in decency. I believe in British values and I believe in this country. That's why I am silenced and the Muslim Council of Britain is brought on at any time, any time there's an issue surrounding this religion, and there frequently are, up they pop. Nobody asks them about the whole stoning to death aspect of their religion. They are never questioned on this. 
I, on the other hand, am toxic and dangerous and must be censored. You already know that we are living in upside down world. The mainstream press is elevating monsters and silencing their critics. And because we upside, we're in upside down world, I'm portrayed as the monster and they are portrayed as the victims. The Muslim Council of Britain claims that what it is aiming to do is stop the press and political parties and British society generally from treating Muslims differently to anyone else. That is exactly the opposite of what they want. The Orwellian doublespeak is big here. They want Muslims treated differently. They want separate standards, special treatment. They want Muslim women to be able to cover their faces in public while none of the rest of us can. They want their own court system that treats women like dirt. They want the right to censor critics of Islam, including ex-Muslims. They want to be treated as superior. Not the same. What I want is for Muslims to be treated the same as everyone else. What the Muslim Council of Britain wants is for Muslims to be elevated to the superior status they are afforded in their own scripture. That is the reality. So mainstream media, I'm available. Julia Hartley Brewer, Brewer I'm available. Let's talk about the Muslim Council of Britain.